our longtime friend and pastor of Estelle Community Church, Brother Mark Deason, joins us. Brother Mark, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Brother Jim. Good it's to have you to with be us. here. Appreciate you having me and, here with uh, you today. You know, when we found out uh, a couple of months ago about the uh, tent revival, and uh, it took me back to my younger days, Brother Mark, and this has been something you've been working on for a while. Well, it has been for quite a few years. Uh, um, I've been pressed in my heart to put together a, a multi-church revival mm -hmm. with uh, many different uh, uh, backgrounds of, of faith and come together with one common cause. And uh, the Bible tells us that common cause is, um, it says in the book of Jude that we have one thing in common. All churches have one thing in common. It's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it said to put aside He's all a common the, denominator. <laughs> He's it, man. It said put aside all the things and um, and uh, come together and uh, preach Jesus and bring forth Jesus. Well, talk about the when it starts and tell us all about the tent revival. Well, uh, we raised the tent yesterday. Uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, Is that a piece of sawdust in your hair? It may be. <laughs> <laughs> we raised the tent yesterday. It took us, uh, we, we spent about nine hours yesterday. We got it raised up. And then late yesterday afternoon, we put about three inches of sawdust across the whole floor. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been in ministry uh, almost about 27 years and uh, I've preached in five in my lifetime, but it, but it's not something common anymore. Mm -hmm. You see them every, all the time. You'd be going down the street and see a tent revival, but we had not seen one here in Silicon in a lot of years. So, uh, But we're um, uh, excited about it. Got churches from um, from Montevallo, from Alexander City, multi-churches from Silicon. And it's going to be it's going to be a great time. It's going to be an explosive time. And it's going to be a time where people put aside all their differences and just come and share our faith together. Um, we don't often hear about uh, miracles. Yeah. Uh, we don't often hear about really, uh, you know, God saving to the uttermost. Yes, sir. But this is what this tent revival is about. It, it is, and we're we're expecting uh, to have miracle services. And I know folks have probably seen those on television and say, "I really don't believe in that." Well, you got to come to see. Or you have to come in person. Or uh, uh, I appreciate the program and the television, but television don't do miracle services justice. You come and you see God uh, save, deliver, or you see Him heal broken bodies, restore people's lives, deliver addictions, and wash away sins. And uh, there's miracles about to take place in this old-fashioned tent. It's a, it's a huge tent. It, it'll seat about 300. And then when we let the sides up, the potential for people is uh, to bring you lawn chairs, but there, there's no, no limit to seating. Mm -hmm. so. uh, when does it start? April 26th at 7 p.m. every night. All right. Now, who are some of the churches that are going to be represented there? Well, locally, we have a number of, um, of um, <clears throat> churches in our area. Valley View Church of God, Brother Keith Ornsby, uh, the Sanctuary, Brother... Uh, Freddie Edwards. Um, we have uh, Wagufka Family Worship Center with Brother Tommy Thornton uh, down in uh, Wagufka. Uh, we have, um, uh, of course, Estel Community Church, mm -hmm. and uh, and we also have um, the Upper Room Church um, in Montevallo, Brother Steve Logan. And as a matter of fact, it's through his ministry that we attain the tent. And um, we also have West End Baptist Church from Alexander City, Brother Donald Dealey, and um, also. Uh, Family Worship Center in Ellick City with Brother Pastor Tony Harris. So there's seven churches coming together uh, to put the to to put everything aside and just speak our faith and be one in Christ and um, strengthen the church. The church has been divided by denominational uh, barriers, guidelines, and divisions for for so long, and we're erasing all that. Uh, and we're just coming together in one faith, and it's going to be it's going to unify the church, mm -hmm. the local body, uh, not only in Talladega County. And uh, in Coosa County, but in Tallapoosa County, and up in Shelby County, mm -hmm. so we're going four counties wide with this revival. And it's it's uh, to say that in the least four county wide revival is massive. That's and a huge undertaking. It's, too. it's it's been uh, it's been uh, <laughs> it's been a project to put it together <laughs> to say the least. Um, but uh, it's all coming together now, and. Um, it's going to be amazing. Our our scripture that we really uh, want to base the revival on is Mark chapter 16. Uh, the Lord said um, to go into all the world and preach the gospel and teach them uh, every creature about Him. And also, He said, these signs will follow them that believe that miracles, signs, and wonders. He said, um, uh, casting out of devils. Man, if you've got a devil problem, you got a you got a, 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 a hindrance in your life, come and let God move in your life. If you, the Bible said bodies would be healed, lives would be saved, the anointing of gifts would be poured into people's lives. So Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 18 is our scripture that we are really basing the revival on. 
that the miracles, signs, and wonders of God are still relevant, and the miracles, signs, and wonders of God are still effective and, and tangible. A lot of people say they hadn't saw a miracle in a long time in church. Come to this revival. You will see miracles, signs, and wonders. Uh, you know, you're talking about uh, miracles. Uh, Suzette Edwards, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Pastor Freddie's wife and, and his, his partner in ministry and as well as marriage, stricken with Parkinson some 14 years ago. Yes. And Easter Sunday morning, I mean, she was really going through it, too. That's right. Yeah. And, but they kept believing. Yep. And, and people kept praying and, and believing with them. S Easter Sunday morning, she wakes up with no symptoms. Isn't that you know, awesome? uh, and even for older guys like me, mm -hmm. You love seeing that because it encourages your faith. It does. It does. And it brings us to the, well, uh, Brother Jimmy, 19 years ago, I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Mm -hmm. And the doctor came out and told, at that time, we only had about maybe 50 members of the church. And, and they were all at Silicaga Hospital. And they had were sitting in the, <laughs> they were sitting in the waiting room and they came out and, and the doctor came out and told my wife that I only had about six weeks to live. That, that it was just everywhere. And they sewed me up and. And uh, here I am, 19 years later, uh, hosting a tent Man. revival, saying God's going to do it again. God's going to do it again. So you know, if you got if you got something serious, or if you got something minor, God, listen, God cares about the small things well, the large. But 19 years ago, God uh, delivered me from cancer, and just a few days ago at Easter, uh, God delivered Sister Suzette from Parkinson's, and God is still. Yeah. Doing miraculous yeah. signs and wonders, and what seven o'clock it starts? Seven p.m. every night for fourteen straight nights. Oh, you having music and stuff as well? Oh, uh, there's going to be. Uh, we're building the stage. There's going to be uh, bands from all the churches. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a, a special <clears throat> youth night. It's going to take place um, right in the middle of it. Going to try and get all the churches, youth groups together. Got a um, Christian contemporary rock band coming in for the young folks called Arson Arrows and. Uh, so it's going to be. It's going to be. It's not just for, for adults. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in August, uh, you guys will be celebrating 20 years at Esther. Uh Yeah, uh, Brett Jamie, I look back. Uh, <clears throat> August the, the 19th, uh, my wife and I will celebrate 20 years pastoring Estelle Community Church. And in those 20 years, I can't tell you all the things that I have seen mm -hmm. and the uh, moves of God. The growth of the church. We started out with 11 members. And this is funny, the first <laughs> message I preached, half of them left. The next Sunday, you cut only, in the corner heard, didn't you? <laughs> I only had half the congregation, but in the 20 years that I've been there, now we have hundreds of members. And uh, just to tell you how God's prolifically moving, Sunday morning we had 17 new members join the church. Wow. And Sunday night we baptized eight more in the name of Jesus. So uh, the church is growing. After 20 years, it's still growing. It's on fire. And we're expecting what's going on in the sanctuary to be poured out under this old tent. And uh, so it's going to be powerful. It's going to be amazing. You know, it, uh, Brother Mark, it's a, it's a great example of churches coming together because you, you've got those that are unchurched yes. that are watching the church. Yeah. And, and they see the church really coming together and, and seeing God meet needs. You know, that's going to uh, prod them a little bit to say, let's take a look at this. That's right. Brother Jimmy, um, about 19 years ago, uh, the place where the tent's going to be, uh, John Green owned that land, mm -hmm. uh, which is the owner of Calls Lumber Company. He lives in New York now. And um, the Lord uh, pressed into my heart that John Green was going to give us an acre of land. So uh, did I've, you know him? i would never met him before in my life. Wow. So I started contacting the people that 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 um, that manage his multi hundreds of thousands of acres of land, and uh, it took me six weeks before they would ever let me even contact or the, before they would contact him. He flew here from New York 19 years ago, met with Am South. Uh, president of AmSouth Bank in Birmingham. And when they drove up in the church yard, you thought it was the FBI or something. They came in black SUVs from AmSouth Bank and um, pulled up and he said he wanted to meet the guy because I told him that God said he was going to give me an acre of land. <laughs> and he said he wanted to meet the guy that, that God was giving his land to. And he gave us the land for a dollar. Oh. And gave us, and, and I, at that time, we, I really thought it was going to be a parking lot because we had exceeded our parking. And so we used it as a parking lot for about five years. 
and then we bought some more land and put it in a new parking lot, and then we turned it into a volleyball court, and then we turned it into, uh, uh, we've been doing um, <laughs> Oktoberfest there for years. But this year, uh, God told me the purpose of that land was for revival. Nineteen years later, the purpose for, the, for that land that was given to us is now uh, coming to the forefront. We're going to have old-fashioned tent revival mm -hmm. on that land. And, and people think of the word revival, and yeah. it's just a, a, a word that they've heard down through the years. But if there's any time in our nation's history that the church needs reviving, oh, it's now. Goodness. Yes, sir. Um, it's it's um, so important that those of faith, if we don't get fully on fire for God, if we are mundane and apostate in our walk with God, then we become um, just uh, figurative, not effective. So the revival is first for the believer, mm -hmm. and then it's for the unbeliever to know Jesus. But it's for the believer to get on fire so we can once again be the light. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. He said, while I was here, I was the light. But he said, I'm ascending to heaven now. You are the light of the world. So we must be that bright, burning, shining mm -hmm. light for Jesus. And that's what this revival is about, to, to let the light burn again, four county wide. Man, four wow. counties wide revival. Uh, the people who maybe are not accustomed to this type of worship or not accustomed to tent revivals, or maybe they're younger and they hadn't been around anything like this. Uh, and those that uh, are not Christian oriented mm -hmm. or, or Christian themselves, uh, they're not the enemy. No. You know, we, we no. want them to come and they'll be loved. Well, what this type of revival does, it exposes to the public outside the church what truly should be taking place inside mm -hmm. the church. And the church has uh, become a four walled. Uh, institution not going outside and we've been uh, pulling a cross through Sylacauga the last few weeks I don't know you might have saw us we uh, have a cross and uh, it's 10 foot long and there's been about 40 or 50 of us from church we've been pulling that cross every Saturday through downtown Sylacauga mm -hmm. giving out flyers and witnessing and and uh, bearing the cross for Jesus and we want to take our faith from the inside of the church to the outside. Mm -hmm. And that's what this revival is going to be, is that our faith will be known, not hidden behind the walls of the church. We're going to roll up the sides of that old tent. We're going to crank the music up. And uh, the preachers uh, from uh, four different counties is going to, uh, boy, I'm, I've asked them to, to let it go. Hold nothing back in the name of Jesus. No conservative, just come and preach Jesus. So it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. It's gonna All be right, wild. starts uh, no. Uh, April 26. April 26 goes through May the 9th. Uh, I say goes through the May the 9th. It, it's going to depend on the um, the uh, leadership of the Spirit of God. If He tells us to go to uh, June the 9th, we're going to keep the tent. I've done got approval from the from the folks from North Alabama that brought it to us, and uh, we can keep it as long as God allows us to have revival. It hasn't got to come down. So I've got a I've got a commissioned uh, no date time limit on the tent. So that's wonderful. Brother Mark Deason, uh, senior pastor at Estelle Community Church. Uh, he and his wife celebrating 20 years in 20 ministry years. there yes, in sir. August. And Big Tent Revival coming up beginning April the 26th. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, the world, and we talk about this almost every time mm -hmm. we're together, mm -hmm. uh, the world and our country included is facing so many challenges today. And this type of uh, uh, ministry where you're bringing in a lot of different churches, a lot of different uh, uh, people who are senior pastors at the church and music people at their church, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for something to grow positively uh, in our country. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a product of exposing the, to the world that, that the church is not divided. We're still one. And um, the greatest... <clears throat> device that has been used against um, society today is that I'll just hold one up with that. It's destroying relationships. People don't even talk anymore. And <laughs> through social media and through Facebook and through things that uh, all these things that people use to not, they don't even have a relationship anymore. And uh, it's bringing back that, that we're going to come together and it's going to be a no device tent, cut that stuff off and worship Jesus and allow folks to come together and, and truly be what God mentions us to be. 
Lives are being destroyed every day through the electronics that society has offered us. Uh, spouses don't even talk anymore. Children. We, my wife and I was at a restaurant a couple of weeks ago, and there was a um, there was a, a four family person sitting, uh, family sitting next to us, two two teenagers and two adults, and they were all sitting there with the, they were, they didn't talk the whole time they ate, and it was just the most heartbreaking thing. I told my yeah. wife, I said, "That's what we've come to. That folks just that they've lost the ability to have a relationship." All right, tent revival, Holy Ghost tent revival. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, I Capsule hope you feel the excitement at. right now. I'm about to shout right now. All right. <laughs> Capsule where we're going to be and what's going to be happening. Uh, it's going to be at uh, it's going to be uh, on the church grounds at Estelle Community Church, not in the church, but across the road from the church, and uh, it's uh, 366 uh, Cush County Road 35, Estelle Community Church. Uh, if you need directions, you can call my personal cell phone number 256. 872-4619 and it'll be a nightly revival 7 p.m. Uh, there's no time limit. It can go to 10 or it can close at 8. It depends on what God's doing, what the music and the, the church that is that night that is because there's going to be multi many churches, many pastors, many associate pastors, many friends, uh, many people bringing forth the gospel. So couple, uh, talk about very quickly a couple of uh, the first few nights of the service. Who's, who's scheduled to preach? Uh, our church will be opening the church, the, the revival up on um, the 26th, and we're praying that someone or a multi people from every church will be there together, seven churches. Four counties wide will be there to open it up. And then um, the second night, uh, Brother Steve Logan from uh, Montevallo. He's a powerful man of God, too. Wow. Uh, he's been in ministry uh, about 30 years, uh, has a very large church over in Montevallo. And um, he actually, he actually his, his church was founded through this tent. He would take this tent and place it all around the city, and he would move it every 14 days. He moved it to another location within 20 miles of his church, and he, he, his church was built through this tent. So it's pretty powerful. And then it will go on night to night from other pastors. And uh, on Saturday night, Brother Donald Daly from uh, Alexander City, a uh, great man of God uh, from uh, West End Baptist Church, uh, will be uh, bringing the fire. So you don't want to miss any of it. Come hang out. It's going to be wow. awesome. Brother Mark Deason, Senior Pastor at SL Community Church, our guest this morning. Yes, sir. Brother Mark, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you, Brother Jimmy. Appreciate you. Right. But God bless you. Got more daybreak just ahead.